Hello, my name is Shannon Kringen, and you're watching Goddess Kring. And I was going to do a video about nutrition and about health and about what I eat because I uh, recently on Facebook and Twitter, people I've been talking about what I eat and what I don't eat. And some people have asked me, please explain more about this topic. So let me take this jacket off. I am 47 years old and I have always been interested in nutrition. I have always exercised since I was about 13. My dad was a tennis teacher and he encouraged me to be fit and uh, physically active as a kid, which I'm very glad for. And both my parents generally fed me really healthy food and they kind of refused to buy a lot of the junk food that I would beg them to buy me or they would at least make me eat something healthy before I could eat the candy and the, and the junk food. Um, I might be going off sugar soon entirely, refined sugar. So I, let me just say that I am 47 and I just want to show you what I look like in terms of my fitness level, I think. Not that everybody should be obsessed with what they look like, but I feel like being 47 feels really good and I feel like healthy and strong and, and fairly fit. And I just wanted to show you what I look like. Um, here, here's me in my underwear. So here's me in my underwear. So this is what 47 looks like in somebody like me. Well, I have good genetics, and I'm glad. I, I work as a model, as a figure model for art classes. And uh, these are my new leggings I got that are very comfortable. And let's so put on my winter coat here. Okay. So, not to obsess about what we look like, but I do think that it's good. It feels good actually to be strong and healthy. And I go for brisk walks and I ride my bicycle a lot. And I take the stairs instead of the elevator when, all, when at all possible. And what I do for eating is I have cut way down on carbs and sugar and I've increased the fat and the protein. Um, Let's see. I I stopped. I had a low active thyroid a couple of, over two years ago, and it scared me. I've never had that issue. I have low blood pressure, so I don't have an issue with my blood pressure. But I did have a low thyroid, uh, low active thyroid hypothyroidism or something it's called. And so, a naturopathic doctor they put me on medication for the thyroid issue. A naturopathic doctor told me if I went off, if I stopped eating all gluten and all wheat and processed carbs, that I might improve my thyroid function. Because the reason why, if you stop eating wheat, it generally is good for your immune system. And so if you have skin problems or irritable bowel syndrome, you know, if you have digestive problems or skin problems or mental health problems, whatever kind of personal problems you have with your body or your mind, if you if you eat a diet that improves your self, your not your self-esteem, if you eat food that is good for your immune system, then your body has a chance to balance out and heal from whatever it's it's reacting to. So the, some people say that the thyroid thing was because my own body's immune system was attacking itself. And so therefore, I believe it because I stopped eating all wheat. I went cold turkey because I was really into, I love bread. I used to eat pizza. I used to eat pasta. I used to eat, not a lot, but I, I eat pizza and pasta and I got whole grain organic bread at the health food store thinking I was getting healthy the healthy bread versus the junk food bread. I've since found out that really all wheat and all bread is not particularly good for you. It's it makes your blood sugar go way up and way down. And fat fat uh, doesn't make your pancreas um, insulin and your pancreas doesn't get affected. Like if you eat fat it doesn't make your pancreas release insulin. So basically your blood sugar stays pretty stable when you eat fat, which is unique. And so to make a long story short, I ended up losing 45 pounds. Uh, I went cold turkey off wheat. I don't eat pasta, I don't eat wheat, I don't eat bread, I don't eat cookies or crackers or any of that kind of stuff. And I don't even eat rice or oats anymore. I have occasional rice 
when I eat sushi, but usually not. And I have occasional oats that are that are guaranteed gluten free. And when I make oatmeal for breakfast, I make sure to mix in flax seed, hemp seed, and chia seed uh, to change the carb carbohydrate content so that it's not really much of a carb. It, there's more fat. There's there's really good antioxidants and omega fatty acids in chia seed, hemp seed, and flax seed. Uh, I eat a lot of beans. I eat beans nuts, seeds, I eat vegetables and fruit. I don't drink any fruit juice, I don't drink any soda. I have occasional glass of wine, I'm not really into alcohol. Um, I eat I eat a lot of avocado. I eat I still eat meat. I eat eggs. When I get dairy products, I don't eat that much dairy hardly. I drink black coffee with no sweetener and no creamer. Uh, if I do add creamer to my coffee, it would be whole fat milk. I was using coconut and almond milk for my coffee, but it has guar gum and carrageenan and soy lecithin and sunflower oil and all kinds of weird fillers. So I decided to just go black. Uh, the guy that I'm dating, my boyfriend, he drinks his coffee black. And I thought, I don't know if I can handle this, but I I'd started drinking black coffee with him in the morning. I have a little bit of coffee in the morning and it's just black with no sweetener and no milk and I like it that way and I drink a lot of water uh, for breakfast I eat spinach, I eat eggs, I eat garlic, mushrooms, onions I love big salads with olives, I use um, apple cider vinegar and olive oil for dressing if I'm going to eat dairy products again I eat whole fat dairy because it's made by nature. I try to get organic whole fat dairy because it's lower in lactose, it's lower in like sugar, milk sugar, lactose. It's better to eat the fat. And I've noticed that I've gotten thinner by eating more fat. Um, I think sugar and carbs are what help you gain weight and protein and fat seem to be what your body needs and helps your body regulate itself and I exercise almost every day like I go for an hour long walk or a bike ride or I dance I do something fun and active every day preferably outside even if it's raining I live in Seattle where it rains a lot but hey even when it's raining I go out there and I get wet and I take a nice walk and I use coconut oil on my skin I also eat coconut oil I feed my cat coconut oil it's good for cats and dogs um, I don't eat a lot of refined sugar I recently baked a pecan pie with my boyfriend for the holidays and we used corn syrup and I felt weird about it next time I might use raw honey but I rarely eat that kind of stuff and I got a gluten-free crust and I also have coconut flour that I can sometimes bake with. Uh, my mom made a pumpkin pie with coconut flour for crust and it was really tasty. But I generally avoid all flour. Like I don't get gluten-free crackers or cookies or muffins. I just avoid all of that because it's made with potato. Gluten-free um, pastries are usually made with tapioca starch, rice flour, corn flour, potato starch, if I already said that, and which makes your blood sugar go way up. So you're better off just avoiding flour altogether, although I think coconut flour is probably better than rice or almond flour, but I'm really not sure. But when I eat coconut flour, I feel better than when I eat rice flour or potato starch. I still eat potatoes, but not very many. Uh, when I eat potatoes, I usually mix them with other vegetables. So I love to have a big plate full of mixed vegetables, put hummus on top. So basically, instead of eating grain, like I don't eat um, wheat, corn, oats, whatever all the grains are, I don't really eat all that stuff. I eat like, I eat like uh, fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans, I eat meat, I eat some dairy again, whole fat dairy. It's best to just eat things that are made by nature. Like when I, I sometimes get dried fruit from the grocery store, but I make sure to get the kind that has no sugar added to it. Now there is a lot of natural sugar, like whole sugar made by nature in fruit, dried fruit, maybe more than whole, like, you know, I just had, whoa, I just had a whole banana. But I, when I eat a banana, I feel good. When I eat a candy bar, not so much. Like candy bars taste great. But they make, I can feel my blood sugar going up and down, and then I'm just hungry after I eat a, um, a chocolate bar or something. 
If I eat a banana, it's more satisfying to me. And I drink a lot of water, and I eat seaweed. I eat kombucha, which is a fermented a mushroom culture or something. It has really good bacteria. I take um, probiotics, which I think um, it actually help my stomach. I'll show you my stomach again. I used to have like a really bloated stomach, and now I have more of an hourglass figure. Like, you know, I would like to get even leaner, but not to obsess about what I look like. But I feel, you know, I'm 47 years old, and I feel, I feel, um, fitter and healthier than I than I have in a long time. Uh, I was always somebody who liked to exercise. Like my dad was a tennis teacher. I grew up in San Diego and Whidbey Island and I rode my bike and jogged and walked and I was on the tennis team. But I was always kind of chubby and right now I'm leaner than I've been in a long time and it feels really good. And it, again, this is not about trying to look a certain way. Although I have to admit, I think I look better as a leaner person generally speaking. I'm not wearing any makeup right now. What I was going to say was the emphasis should be on health, not on winning a beauty contest or being skinny or fat or tall or short. Not about what you look like, although it is nice to be fit and healthy. It feels good to be strong and muscular and be able to walk really fast uphill and not really get exhausted from that. You know, it feels good to be lighter and leaner. Um, I'm just saying that it that it, it's it, it's from the inside out. Like the way I look, I do like how I look, and I, I think, well, I have good DNA. I'm 47. I've aged well. I don't I don't really drink hardly any alcohol, and I don't smoke. Never really like to smoke. Don't even smoke marijuana. My skin looks pretty good. I use coconut oil. I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I use um, that's what I look like as a 47 year old with no makeup. <laughs> Not to brag, but I use coconut oil on my skin as a moisturizer because they put a lot of weird chemicals in beauty products in like shampoo and lotion and stuff. And uh, I don't even use much shampoo. I mostly just rinse my hair in the water. And I use coconut oil for my moisturizer on my skin. And I eat coconut oil because it has good fat in it. And I eat a lot of avocado and I eat meat. I know it's best to eat grass-fed beef if you're going to eat beef or meat. The fat, apparently the fat in grass-fed meat is much healthier for you than in corn-fed or grain-fed meat. Uh, but I don't always follow that rule because it's more expensive to eat that way. But I do, I feel bad about how they treat the animals. Like I'm sort of an 80% vegetarian. You know, I eat meat sometimes, but not all the time. So I'm not really a strict vegetarian. But I was going to say, environmentally and spiritually, I would rather not eat meat because the way they treat the animals is really, really bad and it's torture. So I'm not perfect. I think if I was more perfect, I probably would be a vegan. I probably wouldn't eat any animal products at all because of the way they treat the animals. My body likes meat. I have to say, though, when I eat meat, I feel fine physically. I don't feel good emotionally because of the way they treat the animals and the whole factory farm industry is pretty nasty and the whole dairy industry is even pretty nasty. I've actually toured some dairy farms and I didn't like what I saw years ago. But I'm just saying that what I eat mostly is I don't eat any grains and I eat and my cat is also grain free. I buy him cat food that doesn't have any grain in it, just has meat in it for him. So I eat nuts and seeds, a lots of, I eat a lot of avocado, I just eat it with a spoon. I eat a whole avocado with a spoon and I eat a lot of spinach, I eat kombucha, I take probiotic capsules, I don't really eat a lot of dairy so I don't really get my probiotics from yogurt because that has sugar in it. If I do eat yogurt, I eat unsweetened plain whole fat yogurt. I eat whole milk, not low fat or non-fat. Fat is good. Fat is good for us. We need cholesterol. We need fat. If you do research on that, look at the guy that wrote Brain Grain Brain, and that he's a doctor, and he wrote Grain Brain, and then the guy that wrote Wheat Belly. And if you just look up fat, you know, fat. They're finding that fat is actually much better for our bodies. It's the sugar and the carbs that aren't so good for us, and the fat is that fat and protein is better for us than sugar and carbs. Uh, a lot of people can reverse diabetes actually by um, cutting out all grains. Don't eat any grain. Don't eat any refined carbohydrates. Cut out potatoes. If you're diabetic, cut out potatoes. 
and eat nothing but fruits and well not very many fruits actually but eat a lot of vegetables and beans and nuts and seeds eat hardly any sugar and eat way 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 low on the carbs like no bread no wheat no gluten-free fake pastries don't eat any of that stuff um, I had some gluten-free pizza recently and it made me feel horrible because it was made with rice flour and potato starch it was horrible so when I have a, a craving for pizza I, I go and get like a cheap slice two dollars cheap slice of pizza and I take I peel off the toppings and I throw the bread away I throw all of the bread away all the dough I just throw it away and I just put raw onions on top and I just eat it with a fork I just eat the cheese and all the toppings and um, onions and just eat it with a fork and I love to make salads with um, marinated artichokes and olives and, and roasted peppers and I eat hummus and I eat I'm so used I eat a lot of vegetables I'm so used to not eating any grains now that whenever I see bread I think well that's not food like I just think eh, you know I don't eat tortillas if I want a burrito, I just get a bowl and put all the burrito, uh, and, you know, the cheese and the beans. I don't eat rice either. So I don't eat rice. I eat beans, but not rice. So I don't eat rice or tortillas. When I want Mexican food, I just get a bowl and just put beans and um, meat and vegetables and guacamole and sour cream and all that stuff on t in the bowl and just eat it without the tortilla. No tortilla and no rice. And I like it that way. What else? A lot of nuts. People are afraid of nuts because they have a lot of fat in them, but I eat a lot of nuts. I've been eating a lot of nuts for like two years and I'm not gaining any weight. So, but I do exercise every day. Um, but I eat a lot of avocado and nuts and beans. I eat eggs. Uh, I eat whole fat dairy. So I hope I've um, addressed some of what you wanted to hear. So, my name is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. You can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And I'm on Live Journal. And I have my own website, shannonkringen.com. S H A N N O N K R I N G E N. Shannonkringen.com. There's a movie coming out called Channeling Yourself about public access television, which I was a part of for 15 years. I had a show called Goddess Kring. And I'm going to go visit my boyfriend's family for Christmas uh, this year. It's now December of 2015. I'm 47 years old. And I've been dating this person for about a little over a year. And we're having a good relationship, which is new for me. My love life has been extremely rocky. Uh, I've made some choices that didn't work out too well. And um, I think I've learned to be a better girlfriend. And I also think that I, I finally met somebody who's more compatible with me. So I think it's two reasons why this guy and I get along. I think that it's we're more compatible and um, than other guys that I've dated. And also I, I, I finally love myself enough to treat myself better and to be a better girlfriend. So I think my relationship with myself has improved and I've grown up and healed to some extent. And this person encourages me we both encourage each other and we're not jealous and possessive and uh, like he works with lots of people um, he does photography and music and he interacts with lots of people and I'm not jealous or possessive about that and then I'm a model and an artist and I talk to lots of people and he's not possessive or jealous we both encourage each other's um, careers and other friendships that we have with other people and he's invited me to family Christmas and his family Christmas and I already had Christmas with both my my divorced parents my mom actually invited my dad and I to have dinner with her and that's pretty cool that my parents who are divorced they've been divorced since I was four so over 40 years they've been divorced and they're they're friends enough so that we can all have dinner together and and be nice to each other and, and love each other in our own kind of way in our own kind of separate independent kind of way and they're not really very traditional so they're fine with me having a Christmas with my boyfriend's family so I'm happy about that and that they're flexible like that so okay that's Goddess Kring Shannon Kringen for now so feel free to ask me any questions about nutrition or artwork or visit my website shannonkringen.com email me follow me on twitter facebook etc i have a whole bunch of different blogs like live journal and wordpress and i'm on pinterest and i'm on um 
Tumblr and LinkedIn and just all those different websites. If you just, and Flickr, I have like thousands of photos that I've taken on Flickr. And thank you for listening. So yeah, okay, just catching up with you guys for December 2015, Goddess Kring. Follow your dreams, follow your heart, follow your soul. Bada boo, bada bing, stinging rings the kring. Catch the wind song, spiral drive, crack the code, left and right node. That's part of one of my poems. Okay, check it out. <laughs> I write poetry and spoken word, and I paint shoes, and I model, and I just do lots of different things, and life is an adventure. Look for the synchronicity. I like to say synchronicity, 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 synchronicity. There it is. Thanks for listening. Bye. Leave me questions or comments. Okay, bye.